Welcome back to Funoi Crossover. Let's talk about what we see in our fantasy that Mark is running. Mark, what's up with fantasy? All right, welcome to our Pinar Crossover League, guys. This is our week three matchup right now. We got some really good players that showed up. We got some really good teams, right? So good shout out to Bo Supreme. Yep. Shout out to Rise and Grind with a 7-2 seven two win and Bo Supreme with a 7-1 win. So right now, our fantasy team is getting really crazy. Team. And I'm not doing well. <laughs> Mark and Mark, 11-15-1. I'm, I'm not doing well. So let's go to our standing right now. Yeah. After that week three matchup, I'm 10th right now in the league. I'm not doing so 10th? well. 10th? I don't know what's happening. How is hey. your team? How is your brother's team doing? Oh, I'm doing team. better than you. That's all that matters. Because yeah. we're on cam. And Congrats to Rise and about. Grind right now with a one, number one seed right now. Who's Rise and Grind? Rise and Grind. That's Ray. Shout out to Ray, actually. Shout out to Ray, so, man. Oh, yeah, Ray's too That's all we have for fantasy. Week four, week five, mm. I'm going to get it going. I got some trades coming up. I want to make some trades because my team is not very good. Trade my whole team. I'm joking. No. All right. All right, that's the fantasy wrap-up. Next up, we picked two videos that we want to show each other. I don't think we've seen it yet. Nope. So uh, let me show my video first. All right, this guy is known. It's not known, but... I've seen a meme, not meme, actually a picture comparing him to Dirt Nowitzki. I don't know if I agree with that though. Here, check out this video. Who's this? All right, this is Jack. Who's this man? Jack to Ooh, Ooh Przingis. Ooh. But to be fair, he didn't really jump that high. Ooh, I, I think he's got hops. You got hops? Uh, that's probably the why the reason why I wouldn't compare him to Dirk. Yeah. Look. I feel like he's like. Look at that. Ah. Oh my God, he's playing he's so like well this season. Like eight feet, man. He's playing so well this season. So. Yeah. What's well, What's been, what have you been most impressed of in terms of uh, uh, Kristaps play this season? I think it's just leadership and his like assertiveness on the court. Like you can see, him, well he's been like that, like doing putbacks and a lot of stuff. But I feel like he's owned his role as he wants to be the guy. And even in press conferences, he says he wants to be, I don't know, I forgot what he said. I he think he's a great player. He's he wants, he, maybe he has embraced the idea that mm -hmm. this franchise revolves around him now. Mm -hmm. Once Carmelo was traded. And, and people were suspecting that maybe he needed one more year of mentorship from Carmelo or that veteran presence of Carmelo. But I feel like at this point, he's probably everybody that, you know, he was ready maybe a year ago. Mm. He was ready since he, maybe he was drafted. Whoa, I don't know about that. <laughs> but like, yeah, his play right now is kind of like the unicorn. Like, yeah. rare to have that skill set. That's why I've been telling people, yeah. you can't compare him to Dirk. I know the shot is there, the shooting touch is there, but you've never seen someone this athletic. Dirk was never this athletic when he came in. Mm -hmm. he ne Dirk never had the handle. He like has he handles did. too, yeah. And, and, and I don't think you can compare him to, to Dirk. I, I'm not saying he would be better than Dirk because Dirk has done, you know, he still has a long way to go, but he has the potential to surpass Dirk if mm. he... If He's going to he, put Dirk in the dirt. <laughs> in the dirt? <laughs> what? In the Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I agree with that. Like... But it's like we we just talked about Giannis and like these long wingspan people to have someone on. He's seven foot. Three. Yeah, he's like not just his so range, versatile. But his is he had a dog in him. I think it took Dirk a while to really establish himself. But then back then, you know, it was rare for a European to come in and really establish himself because he he was skinny. But this guy, you know, put in the work. I think this off season, mm. and it made it made sense for them to keep him and to really build around him. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, and the Knicks are playing well, too. I've, yeah. I've watched a couple of their games, and, like, he took over. You've seen him when they were down, and he just took over and made shots. And I, it's been impressive to watch him play. Like, I actually like watching the Knicks play now. Mm. It's One, exciting times. Yeah. What's, yeah. Your, what's your highlight that you have? And let's go to another player that's making okay. a leap. Mm -hmm. A leap in the ba in the NBA right yeah. now. And that's one of my favorite players right now, actually. Is it's uh -huh. Aaron Gordon. What? And Oh, get I and thought people that know him as yeah. the slam dunk, like in the, that that was Rob. But you know he's showing now this this season that he's yeah. more than just a leaper, yeah. right? And he's so versatile. I, you know, I, I enjoy watching his game because that he can block. do it on both ends of the floor. Like I chose this one because it shows that how block. athletic he is block. and how much Get that out of here. he's playing on both ends of the floor. This has been so fun. Like I, yeah. just like Porzingis, mm. like they they basically have decided like, hey, we're gonna play you at your natural position. Here you at, and he's been he's had a 41 point game that was really good to watch when he was just making buckets after buckets, mm -hmm. and and his block was just so imp like this one was one of my favorite because people were doing like you know that 
off the board, like, yeah, trying to do fancy. Uh, well, like the off the board, like you know the co the trace, the T Mac move. Mm -hmm. It always works every time. But he, that was the first time I've seen it not work, and he was the one that made it not happen. Mm -hmm. Right? Blocking is yeah. hard, yeah. honestly, too. Like the like, timing. The timing. But to, to time that person's, like, that's Malik Wong, like, that's a rookie. But then to time that one, that person's, you know, deci deciding to do Ali Yeah. And then him coming out of nowhere. Uh, he was actually not even the help side. Oh. He was the before the help side, like the other side. And he still made it happen. That's what's really impressive he about it. He took the magic out of that yeah. Ali I think we've just been, so. we've been clouding the Charlotte Hornets because. That's against the Charlotte Hornets, and the one against Porzingis was against the Charlotte Hornets. Was it? I didn't even yeah. notice that. Yeah, <laughs> we just clowned him. So the the same thing, mm -hmm. the similarity is the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah. So <laughs> we should. But just like the Magic's are playing well this season too. Yeah. Shoutouts to Frank Vogel. Sh Shoutouts to, you know, the the whole team playing really well. And I think the main catalyst to that is because of Aaron Gordon's improvement. Mm -hmm. He's shooting the ball at 58% from the three ball. Wow. That's better. Than, He's shooting better. I thought it was Curry. only a dunker too. I haven't been following. Uh, he, him has, he has improved his shot. Yeah. And if you watch his game, like he, he looks more confident. And a lot of a lot of players are breaking out this season. One of them, Chris Stops, breaking out even more than he is. And mm -hmm. Jan is breaking out more than he is too. Um, and Aaron Gordon's one of them too. So mm. that's been an exciting season. I think I think our two videos that we chose it just it just ended up with that theme, that yeah. emerging emerging sleeping kind of. Players to break we out. We might highlight more. Of, there's still a lot more players that are, you know, mm -hmm. breaking out, like Jalen Brown, mm. a lot of young. The whole Boston core, team. The whole Boston <laughs> team. I think we should. I think we should. I just also got an idea of the the sketch of the future NBA players. Like, imagine if all NBA players were, you know, are just, were long, just like, long. I think Anthony Davis is the one of the few to start it. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, hey, listen. I I believe my highlight was better. I don't know. It's a dunk. Mm -hmm. Offense wins games. Defense wins championships. <laughs> yep. That's All right. what we're talking about. <laughs> All right. Do you want to say anything before we end the show? I just want to give a shout out to you guys, fans. And I hope you guys liked our set. And hopefully we can keep this for the rest of the season. Mark's just begging right now. Where's so our producers good. at? <laughs> Mark's begging. Marky Mark's this is, begging. This look like we're in NBA TV. <laughs> so NBA TV. PBA TV. Oh, starters. speaking about PBA TV, shout out to uh, the guy we met in Naba. He's now in the PBA. Did Chris you know? Chavez, right? Did you know Chris the Chavez? But He's in the PBA now. Watch out. Watch we're coming out. to you, man. Next week, next episode, yeah. we're going to have one of his teammates come in back oh. to talk about Nava. So we won't tell who it is. Oh, yeah, he is. All mm -hmm. right. That's true. All right. Um, guys, make sure you follow all your social medias. Keep in tune with us. Let me hear your comments, questions, anything. Just send it our way.